Well, did you know that you can see artifacts from American history like George Washington's vest or Dolly Madison's bodice in Waco? Or get the inside story on the Cotton Palace or even the Branch Davidians. Former 25 News anchor Ann Harder takes us inside the Helen Marie Taylor Museum near downtown Waco. The late Helen Marie Taylor dedicated her life to preserving history. Back in the 1980s, she bought the old Barron Springs Elementary School at 701 Jefferson. She opened her museum in 1993, but for most of its existence, this museum was open by appointment only for small groups. But big plans are in place for renovations and for full-time hours. At a recent open house, hundreds of visitors got to tour the museum and get a taste of Helen Marie Taylor's vision for her museum and see the amazing artifacts she had collected through her long life. In the We the People exhibit, you'll see treasures like George Washington's embroidered vest, garments worn by his wife Martha and Dolly Madison, and household items from Zachary Taylor and James Monroe. She would say that she was a legend bearer and a storyteller. Virginia investment banker Brandon Taylor serves as trustee for the multi-million dollar trust fund Taylor set up before she died. She was careful not to say she was a historian, but she loved early American history. And uh, you're in the room here uh, that focuses on that. She loved the United States Constitution. She loved the United States, democracy, capitalism, and she loved Waco. And that love for Waco's history is showcased in exhibits celebrating the early 20th century days when cotton was king. The collection of Cotton Palace Queen gowns is stunning. The darker days of Waco history also showcased in the Branch Davidian exhibit. And there are plans to broaden the exhibits to include more 20th century African-American and Hispanic history. But a key feature to the museum is the exhibit on the Indian tribal people who camped here along the Brazos. Derek Ross's ancestor was one of those Indians. There are actually four tribes within the tribe, which is Wichita, Waco, Tawakini, and Kichai. And I grew up in Anadarko, Oklahoma, so the tribe, the Waco part of the tribe, was removed from Waco on August 1st, 1859. So I'm uh, six generations removed from Waco, and I, I think that's important for people to know, uh, not to make people feel bad, but education, you know, that's so important. The museum even has a treaty signed by Sam Houston with Indian tribes in Texas, a treaty Ross says was ultimately broken. So what is the correct pronunciation of the Waco Indian tribe? The, the way that a person would be pronouncing Waco here in Waco uh, 200 years ago was would be we eco so it's like we like in with and eco like eek so it's we eco we eco so if you were going to say I am Waco you would say we eco tatak we eco tatak so that means uh, Waco I am like that. The future is bright for the Helen Marie Taylor Museum with a million dollar upgrade on the way and an endowment for the next hundred years this museum will be telling the special story of Waco and Texas and the nation for years to come. In the meantime, stay tuned for word on a grand reopening. At the Taylor Museum of Waco History, I'm Ann Harder.